Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this morning? It is currently 9.29 a.m. on this absolutely beautiful Saturday morning. It is 73 degrees outside. It's supposed to be 82 today. I might have to pop up to the pool for a little bit. Alex is off all day today. He has nothing to do. He is still in bed right now. I was in bed and asleep last night by 11 o'clock. And I set my alarm. Alex was like watching some shows and looking at TikTok and stuff. And um, I set my alarm for like 12.30. And I woke up and I just was like, oh no, 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 I'm so tired. And so I just kept on sleeping. And then I woke up this morning um, and I was like wide awake <laughs> at like 8.30 this morning. So needless to say, I got like, what, nine hours of sleep, something like that, nine plus hours of sleep. I feel very, very rested and I'm drinking my water, but I'm gonna go get some coffee here in a bit. I'm actually gonna go to this new Starbucks that they opened. Um, I had such a great day yesterday and Tanya and I went for a night swim. The pool that we both belong to is open till 10 o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays. And so she was like, about five o'clock, she was like, you wouldn't be down to go swim tonight, would you? And I said, oh yeah, absolutely. Because Alex was going with two of his girlfriends to dinner to plan the one girl's baby shower because our one friend is pregnant and um so he's helping plan the baby shower it was so funny I was telling Tanya that and she's like your husband is so much like she's like if they ever have like a real housewives of Indianapolis he needs to be like <laughs> one of the housewives on there he is so like always like planning women's birthday parties and baby showers and bridal showers. This is the truth he is. He's very involved in all that. So, um, yeah, so that was that. And then, um, so he had to go to dinner last night. And so I was like, yeah, sure. And so I was like, what time? And she was like, pick me up at 7.20. So I picked her up at 7.20 and we went to the pool and it looked really, really cloudy. And we were like, well, it started kind of like sprinkling just like a little bit. And so, but apparently like if it's raining, they leave the pool open, but if it's thundering or lightning, they close it, which they had done the last two days because of thunder. So we were so, we so believed they were gonna cancel or close the pool. And we got there and there was like nobody there. There was like, like five or six kids in the pool when we first got there. And then like a father and his daughter showed up and then there was like a dad and his son and that was it and then we were there for like five minutes and they blew the whistle for adult swim which always cracks me up because it reminds me of when i was a kid so like there were no adults in the pool i mean the pool was empty um it was just tanya and i and so <clears throat> um because we had gotten in by that point and so um Have we gotten in by the point that they did adult swim? Yeah, we were in the pool by the time that they did adult swim. So, um, it was like one mom with all these kids, and so they all left. And then, um, the dad and his daughter got out and they left. And then, I, and we thought we were just gonna be the only ones there, and then we fell back because it was like these two uh, lifeguards. And it was just Tanya and I in this huge pool, right? And Tanya said something to them, and they're like, oh, we have to stay here until 10 o'clock anyway. Like, even if there's nobody here, we have to stay till 10 o'clock. So then we were like, oh, okay. So um, then this other couple came, and <laughs> this other couple, like we're like Tanya and I are a couple, um, they came and they had like brought cheeseburgers and stuff because we were like kidding with them. I was like, oh, you brought food for us. And she was like, we brought two cheeseburgers and two fries. And he was like, yeah, we didn't bring enough for everybody. They were laughing. They were real sweet. Um, they never got in the pool, even though they had like their, uh, like their swimsuits on and stuff like that and towels around their waist. They just sat at a table and ate the rest of the time that Tani and I were there. And Tani and I went back and forth. We swam laps. 
and we just talked in the pool for probably an hour and then got out and um, we were both like so tired and so yeah and I was like really really hungry I'm just like I hadn't eaten anything all day long and I was super hungry so I went over to Tanya's and um, her husband had gone over to his friend's house and she had already eaten earlier so I was like, well, I think I'm going to order a pizza, actually. Oh, that was the thing. This dad and his father, or this dad and his father, this dad and his daughter at the pool were ordering, like, a deep dish pizza from somewhere. I could hear them. I was like, oh, Tony, that sounds so good. And then the lifeguards were eating pizza. And I just was, like, so hungry for pizza all of a sudden. So I ordered a hot box pizza and breadsticks on the way home to, like, pick up and take home. And, um... I got a pineapple, onion, and jalapeno pizza, and breadsticks, and I got like two garlics, three cheeses, and a ranch. Oh my god, it was so good, and I still have tons of it left, because I, I had three pieces of the pizza and two breadsticks, maybe three breadsticks, and it was so good, and then um, Melissa and I were maybe going to do a live stream last night, but I never heard from Melissa. They had this, like, polo match fundraiser thing they were going to. I think it's the same one that we've been to before. Um, so, she wasn't sure what time that was going to get out. But I think it probably got out late because I never heard from her. I'm actually going to get hot coffee this morning instead of iced coffee. I'll get iced coffee later. But I'm craving kind of, like, just a cup of hot coffee this morning. This car, I want to get over, but this car over here, I'm not sure really what lane it's in. There's, like, two other lanes. And it's kind of riding down the middle of the lanes. Um, yeah, and so I took the pizza home and then um, took the dogs out and was changing and stuff. And like right as I got home, like right as I was changing and stuff, Alex was getting home. So, um,. And that was like 10, 10, 15, maybe something like that. 10, 10, 15. And, um, so he took the dogs or he took the dogs upstairs and, um, got into bed and I sat there and ate my pizza and I watched the end of national entertainer of the year pageant 2011, the year Aurora Sexton won. She's beautiful. And, um, there's like so much construction traffic coming back the other way. I'm like, I should not have probably come this way, but I was trying to figure out what the sunshine, <clears throat> which would be the best way to go. So yeah, I finished that pageant. And you know what was so funny is I was sitting there last night and so like I rent them and then I get these notices that like, cause you get it for like, it depends. Like some of the rentals are 48 hours, some of them are 72. It just depends on like how long the pageant is. Cause sometimes you get like the prelim nights, like Friday and Saturday and Sunday, and then Sunday is the final nights and sometimes you don't. So depending on how long the pageant is, is how long you have to rent it. So if it's like a three day pageant, you get like three days to rent it, you know, if it's two, anyway. I think that's how it works. I haven't really figured it out yet. But anyway, the reason I started watching these was because I wanted to watch the Entertainer of the Year from this year. Like, I was really excited to see 2021's National Entertainer of the Year. And, um, okay, that's Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, so, like, their iced stuff is really good. Do you know what I really like from Dunkin' Donuts is, um... That thing that they had last year for Christmas, I can't remember what it was called. It was that iced coffee, but it had, does anybody remember what that was? It was something kind of like, not, I don't want to say obscure, but it was kind of something different for, um, is this line at Starbucks like super long for here? It was like Holly Berry or something. It wasn't like real weird, but it was like, Something that normally wouldn't be in coffee. Yeah, 
now I'm feeling like maybe I should just get the iced coffee. I don't have my iced coffee cup in the car though. Maybe I'll get something a little different this morning. Oh, I'll get the brown sugar shake and espresso if they have it. Whenever I see like a bunch of like older guys all sitting together outside of like a Starbucks or like at Hardee's for breakfast in the morning, I always think that they're like in recovery. <laughs> it's like a group of recovery guys like eating together. Cause I know a lot of guys that like go to like a seven o'clock meeting or like a nine, eight, eight or nine o'clock meeting and then they go eat afterwards for breakfast. Um, I think that's a good way to start the day. You know, if you're retired, go to a meeting and then go out to eat brunch or eat breakfast. So anyway, the way, so I was looking at these pageants and like, I've known this in the back of my head, like when it was like, like when this year came out because they're like putting it together. So it's not ready yet. Right. And I knew that it was August 15th. It's so August 15th is the release day of 2021's pageant that you can go watch it on this website. But for some reason, I was thinking that was like in a week and a half. Like I still thought I had like so much time left um, until this pageant came out. And like last night I was like looking at the date and I was like, that's this weekend. I was like, I get to watch it this weekend. So on Sunday, National Entertainer of the Year 2021 comes out and I can't wait. You know what? I actually should have gone to the other Starbucks because my friend's daughter works there. I am going to go there. My friend's daughter works there. And my friend Aaron just messaged me and was like, you, you go to such and such Starbucks, right? And I said, uh, for your reviews, and I was like, no, sorry. And she was like, um, she was like, oh, she was like, Maddie just got a job. Maddie's been in uh, a couple of my videos. She was like, Maddie just got a job at, at that, such a, this other Starbucks. I was like, no, I'll go there. I'll go through there and say hi. So I'm gonna roll through there and say hi to her because it's Saturday morning, so maybe she's working. Um, so anyway, Sunday night, I get to watch the 2021 pageant. Three hours and 42 minutes, I looked, and it is. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Paris Campbell wins. And what is funny about that is that in this 2011 pageant, Paris Campbell was a contestant and like top 10 contestant, but didn't place. Um, it was actually interesting. Trinity Taylor was the first runner up and I didn't think Trinity Taylor deserved to be the first runner up in this pageant. Um, as, as beautiful as Aurora Sexton is, I didn't think that her talent deserved to win either, but that's just me. Um, but what was interesting was Paris Campbell did this talent that was like a bunch of, like her and a bunch of dancers dressed up like characters from Sesame Street. And then they did this whole like thing where we like started off Sesame Street, but then they were in the club and they were doing all these dances, all these choreographed dances and stuff. It was hilarious. <clears throat> it was really good talent and really outside of the box. I've had a lot of fun this summer watching drag pageants. So then, what else did I do yesterday? Did I vlog yesterday or did I vlog? This is like my third daytime. I've been getting a lot of sleep during the week because this is, or this week, because this has been my like third daytime vlog this week. Did I vlog yesterday? I vlogged yesterday during the day, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I vlogged. And then I did end up having my recovery commitment last night or yesterday afternoon. And um, that went a little bit over. And then I went to Saks and I got some more cologne, some more Creed. It was funny, I was walking in there and this woman that's helped me in there, she's so nice. 
and um, it's always weird for me at like 49 to say that woman when she was she's probably 25 but anyway um, I was like walking through by like where like the La Mer creams are and stuff like that and she was like are you here for some Creed <laughs> I was like and there was nobody at the Creed desk and I was kind of like headed in that direction or the station so I think that I thought that's why she was asking and I totally didn't recognize her at all. And I said, yeah, I said, how did you know? And she goes, cause I help you every single time that you're here. And I, and she was like, I, she said her name and I said, oh, I'm Peter. And I said, I didn't recognize you. And I was like trying in my head, Tony, cause Tony yesterday was like, my God, how, um, she was like, I feel like you just bought that Creed. And I go, no, I go, I make it last for several months. And, um, so anyway, this girl <laughs> that helped me, she's like, ready to deliver any second like she's so pregnant and I said and because I said to her I said I you weren't pregnant with the last time that I saw you and um uh, she said something to me before that uh she said something like she said oh she said the last time that um she said something how would she say she said the last time that you saw me I wasn't pregnant she said, let alone um, about to deliver any second. And I said, oh, I said, yeah, you weren't pregnant the last time that I saw you. And she said, yeah, pregnant and ready to deliver and something like that. And I was like, oh, I said, when are you due? And uh, she said, like, any moment. And then she said, my delivery day. I said, well, you, I said, our anniversary is the 25th. That would be funny since you've helped me so much. And she said, that's my uh, due date is the 25th. And I said, oh, my God, really? She was so friendly, and she was like, yeah, she was like, I'm so ready. And um, so we were talking about that for a little bit, and I was like, you are so good to remember me every single time I come in here. And she's like, well, she's Venezuelan. She's, like, recommended Venezuelan restaurants to me, and um, and she's like, I know that your husband's Venezuelan, and she's so sweet. So I did that, and then I went home, and I filmed a drama video, a Peterisms video, a booktube video, and I was going to do a Peter Dusta video, but I didn't end up doing one yesterday. Because um, I think that by that point, Alex was home. My booktube video took me forever to put together because... Um, I had like screenshots of each of the book covers. It was my uh, July wrap up and I had read 13 books. So I had to like pull the book covers for each one and then it, like insert it into the video. So it took me like a long time to put together. But I'm glad that I finally got my July wrap up done. And I did talk on there about doing like reviews. And I had mentioned it over here, and a couple people had said some things over here, too. And I think that, like, what people recommended was me doing, like, a two to three minute review of the book. Um, where I didn't spoil it, and then go on and give, like, a, like a spoiler review. I may do something like that. We'll see. I thought this book that I was, I'm listening to right now, I thought that I would be done with it like two days ago, but I haven't been vlogging at night, and so I haven't been listening to it. I've been listening to it a lot as I drive around during the day, but I haven't been listening to it at night because I haven't been vlogging at night, but it is really, really good. It's the fourth book in the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson, and, um... cracks me up to see these like I was just looking at looking, there's like a field over here with all these kids playing like soccer and the last like field was like looked like three year olds out there three or four year olds I thought there is nothing as a parent if you there's no way I could get up on a Saturday morning early enough to get my three or four year old out to a soccer field when I've gotten up early the entire week <laughs> to play soccer I know people do it. All my friends do it. They always are like, I'm like, what are you doing this weekend? And they're like, oh, you know, 
Johnny or Susie has a baseball tournament all day on Saturday. It starts at 6 a.m. <laughs> Who comes up with these times of stuff? And um, they're like, yeah, it starts at 6 a.m. and it goes to 4 p.m. I'm like, I can't even imagine. I really do not understand how parents do it. I just don't. I mean, like, if I was did anything, okay, even, like, go to the pool and lay out from 6 to 4 p.m., I would, like, pass out from exhaustion when I got home. I would definitely, let alone have to, like, prepare a meal, feed people. You know what I mean? Like, I just couldn't do it. I, I have no idea how parents do it. So, anyway, I filmed all that, got that done. Um... And then, that was when Tanya called. And then I went and laid down with Alex for like a half an hour. And then I changed and then it was time for me to go. Because I had to pick her up by 20 after. And then I left at like 7.05. So it was a fun day yesterday, it was a good day yesterday. I really didn't stop the whole day, like, from the time that I got up yesterday and vlogged to like when I went to go pick up Tanya, like I really didn't stop the whole day. <laughs> Which I find that <laughs> like I sometimes don't get my stuff done any earlier I just get more stuff done if I have more time. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Like, I got a lot of stuff done yesterday. I really like this water bottle from Crumble. It's really nice. I did this review yesterday on my review channel of like this poopery haul that I did. But whenever I do reviews like that, I just don't think that people are that interested in like stuff like that. You know what I mean? And so I kind of think that maybe when on days that I do reviews like that, I'm gonna have to do like two reviews in a day, like a Starbucks review and then like a review of something like that. Um, but then I have a feeling that like nobody would watch that review at all, you know? I don't know. I've like literally driven down one way and then turned around and came right back the other way. It's interesting to me, like, on weekends, like, people that are, like, up this early and out and doing stuff, you know? Like, I know a lot of friends of mine that get up really early on weekends, but they're not, like, necessarily, like, out and doing stuff, you know what I mean? Hmm. It's such a pretty day outside. Do to do to do. Do to do to do, do, do. I don't know what I want from Starbucks. I don't know if I want hot coffee, or if I want iced coffee, or if I want a brown sugar shaken oat milk express espresso. I haven't had one of those in a while. And how is my battery already at the halfway mark? Well, if I grow 
home, I can go grab the other battery too. So, I think maybe I'm gonna do that. Nichols is having a sale on diamonds. Diamonds are forever. August 20th through the 21st, 20% off diamond jewelry. That would be the time to buy your um, engagement ring if you're thinking about buying an engagement ring, just FYI. I'm really excited about getting our new band, wedding bands, so that I have a wedding band to wear. I'm really excited about that. I can like fit in my wedding band, but it's just so tight. It's like, it hurts. Like it really, really hurts. All right, you guys, listen, I'm gonna run home for just a second and then I will be back to go to Starbucks. I will be back in two and two. Okay, I'm back. I almost deleted the uh, previous part of the vlog that I had filmed. I love seeing sprinklers on. <laughs> the weekend morning, like, well, the weekend mornings that I'm never up. <laughs> I do love seeing sprinklers out, though. I don't know why that makes me so happy. Changed the battery, and did I say that already? And I got more water. Because when I get done vlogging, I may want to listen to a little bit of my audiobook. Somebody's brought the motorcycle out this morning. They're riding it around. Okay. This morning reminds me of summer weekends that I would be in Saga Tech with my dad at our boat. And I remember, like, we would get up real early. We were at, you know, our boat was at the marina, which, which was on, like, the other side of this little kind of like bay thing from Saugatuck. And um, we would get up in the morning and we would go, and like the marina had like um, showers and stuff. They had like a restaurant there. And sometimes we would eat there, but I also remember like going into town. My dad would like say we had to go get something for the boat or whatever, you know? Um, but I remember we would get up and we would like eat some kind of breakfast, that thing, and then we would take showers first and eat breakfast. But like we take showers and like you know we have like our little bags that we took with us of all of our you know stuff, our soaps and everything, <laughs> change of clothes, so that we could go up to the little marina area and shower and do all that. And then we would have breakfast there. Sometimes we would eat breakfast in town, like I said, and. Um, but I remember going into the town and there was this coffee shop. I've talked about it on here before and I can still see it in my, I wonder if it's still there. And it was called like the Stone Mug, I think. I said something to my dad about this not too long ago and he was like, I don't know how you remember that. He was like, well, you're right, that's what it was called. And um, it was almost like sloping going down like a side street. And it was this little coffee shop and when you walked in, there was like, um, There was like a bookshelf that had like mugs and stuff on it. And then there was like a cash register area that had like all this tea and coffee and stuff behind it. And then like in like glass jars. And then in the back there was like, I feel like there was a fireplace even, but there was like two chairs and like a little rug and like bookshelves everywhere of like books you could pull down and read. And, um, I remember I used to always get tea there. I was real into tea when I was a kid. And I was always get tea and my dad would get like a coffee. And um, it's funny cause like my dad's more of a coffee drinker now than I feel like he was then. I don't remember my dad ever being like an avid coffee drinker. Like I remember him drinking coffee. Like he would have coffee like if we went to the hospital and we were doing rounds or whatever and stuff like that. I remember him getting like a cup of coffee like so they have this like doctor's lounge at the hospital. Well, anyway, the stone mug. One year, 
I don't know if it was like Mother's Day or if it was just like I was just getting my mom a present or something. But I bought these two matching mugs that are blue that have white sail ships, sailboats on them. And I still have them. And they're my favorite mugs. They were my mom's favorite mugs. And I got them at that stone mug. And do you know what was so weird is? I looked them up online because I wanted to see like who made them. I thought I would buy like more stuff from that, like artist or whatever. And they're actually on Etsy. Like, there's like an old, old, it's like, if you look up sailboat mug or something like ceramic mug, I like found it one time. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is crazy. Um, so yeah, we would do that and then we would like go and, you know, get our boat ready and then my dad's partner had a boat too. And so he and his wife and kids, like we would all, um, and their little dog, we would all go out on, um, like, take the boats out, meet up with a bunch of other people that we, like, knew out there. And, um, I never go to the Starbucks because it's so difficult to get to. So you, like, turn in here, and then you turn in there, and then you turn this way and this way. But anyway, um, and then we would all go out. Mostly, like, my dad liked to sail, but mostly what we did was we came to this cove and just put our, oh my God, is it really the line this long? No. Oh, it is this long. Oh my Lord. It's interesting to me it's this long when there's like, this is such a hard Starbucks to get to. Um, and then we would take our boats out. My dad liked to sail, like I was saying, but like we would mostly like um, anchor in this, um, cove that had like these dunes on it that you could like run up and down and play and all the kids would play and stuff like that and it was real shallow towards the shore and it was really really warm lake michigan is known for being like ice cold even in the like the coldest 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 winters you know coldest winters cold like hottest summers it's um it's still like a freezing cold and uh so yeah I remember when my dad and I would like go do rounds because like when we were here in town we would do like rounds to go see his patients in the mornings and um, on the weekends and he um, would get a cup of coffee there. We would go into the, the doctor's lounge. Usually I remember this being like after church or was it before? I think it was after church and um There's 11 cars in front of me. My lord. Um, there's like a lot of like like teenagers here. Because I wonder if this is like a more of like a teenager kind of like Starbucks hangout. The one I go to is it's never like that. It's always like a lot of like older adults. But anyway, we would go into the doctor's lounge and I remember like they would always have like two boxes of donuts side by side. And I would get like a donut or two and then um, my dad would get coffee. And I can remember him like drinking the coffee. We'd sit down there for a second and talk to somebody and like a couple of the other doctors in there and then I would read like the comics or whatever. In the newspaper, which would always be on like one of these tables. And um and then we would go do rounds. And when he would go see patients, I either had to sit at like the nurses like station behind the nurses station. That's usually where I would sit on like one of those little round chairs I would spin and spin and spin. Or I like we would go like right up to the patient's door and I had to stand right outside the door. And just, and my dad would always be like, be very well behaved. And I would just stand there and be real quiet. <laughs> if it was like Sundays after church, it, I would always have like on a little white tie. Cause I always like for church dressed up when I was a little kid. So funny the memories that you have, you know, like those memories of, uh, like, I think about that, like, with my dad, you know, and, like, the weekends that he had me. 
You know, if he was on call, my dad was on call like almost every weekend when I was growing up until he had like a practice where there was like five partners. He was like on call like every weekend. <clears throat> and um, I just remember us like it being like three o'clock in the morning, you know, and all of a sudden like him getting a call and waking me up and being like, okay, we gotta go to the ER, we gotta go to the emergency room. And um, I have to think that that must have been just like so difficult for my dad, like as you know, like I was saying earlier, it's like parenting is so hard anyway. And then like there was my dad that was, you know, waking up and having, on top of him having to go to the emergency room, like getting this kid ready, you know, to go to the emergency room and whatever. It's funny, it's like, I've met a lot of doctors. Well, you know, it's because I think most of them weren't divorced. Most of their parents were still together. I was gonna say, I've met a lot of doctors' kids through um, the years, you know? And it, one of the things that's interesting is our experiences of growing up, like our family lives, are, are pretty similar in some ways. Um, like a views on medication and stuff like that. Like when I was growing up, um, it's interesting, like my dad was, very much like, um, like if I, unless I was like really, really, um, like super, super sick, he would like never let me stay home from school. Now my mom on the other hand, that was a different story. I love that they say on here, brown sugar, oat milk shake, and espresso new. But like when I would be like in junior high and high school and stuff, you know, and I'd be like, oh dad, I'm so sick. Like I need something, I need something, you know? My dad would say, you know, there's really not a lot that like if you're just sick that, you know, an aspirin won't do for you, is what he would always say to me. <clears throat> Could I get a, a venti oat milk shaken espresso, please? Brown yeah. sugar. What else for you? And that's it. What's your name? Peter. It's going to be 649. Peter, I'll see you up here. All right, thank you. Thank you. Which, you know, is interesting because my dad's like, has a really positive attitude about like antidepressants and, um, you know, any kind of like anti uh, anxiety medication and stuff like that, you know, like. When I got out of treatment, I was on Paxil when I got out of treatment. And, um, was real supportive of it. You know, like, I mean, he's real supportive of all that kind of stuff. And, um, but, like, as far as, like, illnesses when I was growing up or, like, feeling like I was like, oh, dad, I'm sick to my stomach. I think probably because he knew that I was just, like, faking it, you know? He'd be like, no, if you're sick, like... The other thing that my dad would say to me, too, is he would say, who do I call in sick to? And I'd be like, he'd say, you want me to call you in sick to, to school? I mean, if I was really sick, like throwing up and whatever, he would let me stay home. But he would always say that to me. What if I get sick? Like, I can't, you know, who do I call into? So, like, if you're really sick, then yes, you can stay home. But, um, ooh, it's bright. You know, interestingly enough, and I did fake being sick like all the time when I was a kid because I never wanted to go to school because I was bullied all the time at school. But interestingly enough, both of my parents were really healthy. Like, until my mom got sick at the end, like nobody, or like she never really got sick. Like, I don't remember her ever going to the hospital my entire life. How do I not have more points than that? I used my points for two drinks, and look, my points are already down. <laughs> um, but she, like, never really got sick, this one. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. Solid person. 
paid for you. The person on the Oh, they front. did? Yeah. Well, let me pay for the person behind me then. <laughs> okay. We actually, someone paid for them, so they paid for you. That was sweet. Yeah, I know. We're just going to start this whole thing. I know. We're going to be eight tiny too then. Do you know if somebody named Maddie works here? Maddie. She would have just started. Allison. She used to work. Well, she still works here, but. It would have been somebody that just started. Yeah, she went to college. She went back to college in Ohio. She's oh, okay. coming back for the holidays to help out, but yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll have your drink right out. Okay. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't need a straw. Are you having a good day? You guys are busy. I know. Yeah, I am actually. Um, I didn't get much sleep, but. Why not? Did you party too hard last night? Huh? Did you party too hard last night? No, I wish. <laughs> no. I just couldn't sleep. I don't know. But I get off in like half an hour, so hopefully take a nap. What time do you have to be in here? If we open, the openers, we open at 6, but we have to be here at 5.30. Oh my gosh. So you're yeah. here at 5.30 this morning. Yeah, I woke up at 4.30. Oh lord. <laughs> yeah. It's okay though. Thank you so much. Vacated. You too. She was fantastic, wasn't she? But my friend Maddie... My friend's daughter, Maddie, is a senior in high school. She doesn't go to college in Ohio. I wonder if that's not the store that she just started at. I must have gone to the wrong store. Yeah, but like my parents never, like very rarely. Now my mom did have, <clears throat> she went and got this free like heart test, heart monitor thing at St. Vincent's Hospital here in Indianapolis, like years before she passed away, like six or seven years. And when she got it, um, it said that she had had a heart attack at some point. Like it showed like in her history, I don't know how it shows that, but it showed that she had had a heart attack at some point. And um, she was like, I think that's so bizarre. She was like, I never even knew. Um, so. Do you know what's interesting is that my grandma didn't really go into the hospital a lot either for dying. My grandma died at 67 from, a, she had a gallbladder operation, but it was, the, the reason that she died was complications from emphysema. And, um, then my mom died at 64. Um, I, people, I, I've gotten a couple questions when I've talked about my mom recently, people asking what my mom passed from. Um, so I'll tell you what the diagnosis was then. They don't call it this today. Um, and so that's why I'm like sometimes hesitant to say it at the time. Well, it's granulatosis vasculitis or vasculitis granulatosis. But there's a name that comes before that, but they don't use that name anymore because of supposedly the person that, or this is what I've been told um, in the comment sections of my vlog when I talk about it, is that the guy that came up with the diagnosis, like originally, when they originally came up with this diagnosis of this disease, um, was a part of, um, I'm trying to say it in a way that YouTube will allow me to say it, um, was part of Germany, you know, the bad part of Germany in the 40s. So, um, that's why they don't call it that today, is what I was told. I'm not really sure what they call it today. I think they just call it vasculitis granulatosis. Anyway, it's an autoimmune disease and it can affect one area of your body or it can affect your entire body. And the first area of my mom's body that it affected was her kidneys. And what it did is it appeared to look like dehydration. Um, <clears throat> she couldn't contain anything. But then her kidneys started shutting down and um, afterwards, they found out that it had affected her entire body. 
Um, like everything was at that point. Um, and it affected every area. But my mom's, uh, like, on her death certificate, it says kidney failure. And there was a period of time, a long period of time while she was in the hospital, while she was in a coma, that she was getting dialysis. I think that was like one of the hardest parts for me. Well, she came out of it. No, that was at the beginning that she came out of it. I don't know, so much of it to me is like, I just remember that like her friend came to visit. That was when she first started dialysis, came to visit her in the hospital. And it was real weird because she said to her, she said something like to the, the nurse was like, oh, are you, um, this was like my mom's friend that was like her sorority mother or sorority sister. And, um, like they had been friends like since college and like we used to hang out with her and her daughters and stuff. And anyway, she had gone through like this horrific divorce and she was kind of just... I loved her, but she was bitter at the world. That's just kind of how it was. And my mom and I think everybody else kind of knew it. She was just kind of bitter at the world, you know? And so when the nurse asked her, she was like, now how do you know her when she was visiting? That was like before my mom woke up. She said, oh, we were single mothers together. And I was like, really? Like really, that's what you were? Like you were one of her best friends. So then my mom woke up and that was like the moment, like this was literally like days before she went into, if not like a day before she went into a coma. Um, because she didn't get it. Like she, she wasn't understanding things at that point. And I remember I was sitting on one side of the bed. My mom's friend was sitting on the other side of the bed and she kind of like came to, and she was like propped up a little bit and she looked at her and then she looked at me and then she looked back at her and then she looked at she, and she said her name and she was like, I don't understand. Like she didn't understand why she was there. Like my mom had no idea like really how bad it was. Um, which I'm glad that my mom really knew, didn't, my mom never really knew how bad it was, you know? And yes, I did say something. I can't, I can't remember how I said it, but I said something to her, my mom's friend, about how she worded it. I don't know. People are weird sometimes, don't you think? Joe's Grill. Joe's Grill is like this bar in Indianapolis. It's like a strip mall bar. And I feel like I know so many people that go there. That they're like, I'm like, so I'm, what are you doing on a Saturday night? Just to prove that not everybody I know is in recovery, I guess. But I'm like, what are you doing on a Saturday night? Oh, we're going to Joe's Grill. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Have fun. The only reason I go to places like that when I do go, which I can't even remember the last time I actually went to some little bar, dive bar like that. I think it was when Tanya and I and my sponsor and a couple other people went to Britain Tavern in Noblesville, Indiana, which has live music and they wanted to dance. There's Cirillas, there's the second Cirillas over here that somebody said that they have one in their town and it's called Patricia's. <laughs> I lived, and that the, always the motto is where fantasy meets reality or something like that. But anyway, um, I just wish they would pull this rallies, take this rallies down. It has been closed down for like three or four years now, and they just leave it up there, board it up. But anyway, um, the only reason I ever go to places like that is because of the food. Because the food is so bomb bar food I love. It's the worst food in the entire world, but it is so bomb. Do you know what one of my biggest irritations in life is? Is when you're driving behind somebody and they all of a sudden slam in their brakes and turn. Like, real, like all in one move. And I'm like... <sighs> Do 
you ever like wonder when you get up in the morning, like, I wonder what this day holds. What good things are going to happen today? Will I meet any new people? What's going to happen today? Well, Melissa and I are supposed to get together tonight and plan out the podcast. We could do a live stream tonight, I guess. I hadn't even really thought about that. Back in the day, there was that movie, and it was called... I don't know why. I was always kind of obsessed with this movie. I don't know if I ever even rented it. It was a comedy, and it was called Saturday the 14th. Did you guys ever see... Do you know what I'm talking about? Because, you know, Friday the 13th is, like, you know, real scary. But this movie was called Saturday the 14th. You know, I'm, like, right by the post office. I have not checked my post office box all week. I think I'm going to go in there and check it. Because there's literally, like, nobody at the post office. Literally. But anyway, I can see the cover of the movie. I used to always want to rent the, <laughs> the VCR of it. I think it was R or something, so I wasn't able to see it. But my parents didn't censor, but, like, if it was, like, if I was, like, going for R movies left, they'll be like, no, like, you know, we don't need all that. Like... But if it was something that, maybe it was if it was something they wanted to see. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's kind of funny now looking back in retrospect. Maybe it was because it was a, a movie they wanted to see. This guy's driving this big black Suburban. I used to want a big black Suburban back in the day. You can't really see me at all, can you? Hold on. I want to look really quick and see the Saturday the 14th movie. If I'm, It's probably on that Tubi. If I look up on Tubi and it's on Tubi, I will die and I am going to watch it today. Saturday. Because Tubi has the worst movies in the world. Oh, there's a movie. Oh my God, they have it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it, you guys. It's right there on Tubi. Saturday the 14th. This horror spoof follows a family as they move into a creepy house inhabited by frightening creatures. Nightmarish chaos ensues. Doesn't say the year that it came out. Oh, yes, it does. 1981. So I was nine, and it's an hour and 16 minutes. I am so watching that. Oh, it's rated PG. I wonder why I never saw that back in the day. I literally cannot believe... That, that, can I add it to my list? My list. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to watch that. That is hilarious. I can't believe it's on there. Oh, my God. All right. Well, I'm going to go into the uh, post office, and I will be back in a two and two. Okay, I'm back. Got a few packages. I'll either open them later on the vlog, or I will do a video for my Peter Dice Stuff channel and show them. Why is this woman like walking in a complete circle around my car to get to her minivan, which is on the opposite side? Post office is dead this morning. Seems like the only place that is busy this morning is Starbucks, which is interesting. Coffee is so good. Well, I'm headed home. And I'm going to sit outside and I'm going to read for a little bit and read my meditations and all that kind of stuff and read a little codependent no more. And then, um, yeah, I'll probably make some videos today. I need to talk to Alex and see what he has planned. He, like, yesterday when I asked him, I was like, what do you have planned for tomorrow? He was like, like literally absolutely nothing. I was like, you don't have anything tomorrow? He was like, nothing. And I'm really happy about it. He has so much TV to catch up on though. I don't know that he might spend some time watching or some shows. I really want to watch that Lotus Resort show. I really want to watch Nine Perfect Strangers. Um, I want to listen to the book first. The... Oh, the show comes out, I think, on the 15th, actually. So I want to finish that book first, which I haven't even started. I think that's going to be the next book that I listen to. Um, it's hot in here. 
after I finish this truly devious book, The Box in the Woods, I think that's going to be the next book that I listen to. So, I've gotten kind of like mixed reviews when I've talked about it. Some people have said like, oh yeah. I think the one thing I said was that somebody said the show is like, looks completely different than the book. So, we'll try it and see. And, yeah, that's about that. Not tons planned for today. Just videos and hanging out and then getting together with Melissa later. And, uh, doing some podcast stuff with her, which I'm real excited about. So anyway. I would think the car wash would be like super busy on a Saturday morning, you know? This is kind of the time, 11 a.m., it's like 10.58. This is kind of the time when Typically, like, you know, sports stuff is over in the morning, right? <laughs> I feel like this is the time. And, like, people are going home from whatever they had to do this morning. And they get their errands done. I feel like, like, my, like, uncle back in the day, like, he would always do a lot of stuff, I feel like, on Saturday mornings. And then, like, by 11 or 12 was, like, home for the rest of the day. My cousin, I feel like, is kind of like that to this day. Like, when I talk to her, she's like, oh, I get everything done before noon, and then I'm home at noon. I'm like, I'm not even starting my day, and you've already got your day completely finished. The other day when I tweeted out and I said something about Taco Bell being out of beans, can I just tell you guys all of the tweets, the replies that people sent me? Somebody said they went to Popeye's and they were, or Kentucky Fried Chicken and they were out of chicken. Somebody said they went to Panera Bread and they were out of bread. That was probably the funniest one. Um, I mean, it was so many things. And not just, oh my God, look at Denny's. Denny's is packed. I was wondering the other night how Denny's stays in business and now Denny's is literally packed. Like, absolutely packed. Not a space to be found in the Denny's parking lot. Um, and people are waiting outside the door of uh, Olive Garden. They can't wait to have their Olive Garden, which opens probably in two minutes. Oh, right now it's 11 o'clock, just open. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the stuff the other day. Like, and people were talking about, like, this was long before, like, you know, obviously, like, right now, it's like, there's, uh, it's, you know, hard to get certain things and whatever, which it totally makes sense and is sad, you know? Um, but before that even, you know, when you would go places and, you know, years ago when they would be like out of stuff. I'm trying to think of places that I've gone where they've been out of stuff like that. I really can't think, honestly. I've been to places that have been closed since I vlogged, you know, like if you've watched my vlog, like I'll drive through places, you know, to get something to drink or whatever and some place will be closed. Or they'll say we're out of this or we pull, I pull up and it's like, I've had to go to like three different, you know, places to get something to drink. That's happened before. With reviewing stuff back in the day, Starbucks was never a problem back in the day. I would always go through there and they would have everything, like every Starbucks I went to would have everything. Um, now that's not the case. But what would be interesting was when <clears throat> it would be like a food item that I would go to some places for, like I'm just, you know, I don't remember for it, but making it up, like if it was beyond breakfast sandwich at Hardee's, like one Hardee's I would go to and they would have it and the other Hardee's they wouldn't. Um, which I know that like some of those things are like limited, you know, or certain stores only and whatever. But I always thought that that was interesting. Yep, that was interesting. I wish there were more food items for me to review that were vegetarian. It's just so hard when um, there just really aren't that many vegetarian food items to review. 
I should just start doing really random places. I thought about this the other day, that I think that people really just, I always think like, well, if they can't go get it, then they're not gonna watch the review. And I think like people just like things anyway. So if I would just go up somewhere and get like the Poke Bowls, like I, people seem to like those review, like when I did that. So if I went and got something and just did like a review of it, I think people would enjoy it no matter what it was. So I think I might do that, you know? I might go to just some place that local here or, you know, and just get take out and sit out there or whatever, you know. I don't know, something new to try. I do like doing the food reviews though. I actually just got sent a desk to do a review of on my review channel. It's like this like TV tray desk that I bought at Walmart like years ago. Um, but it came in the mail yesterday, it's really cool. They sent it to me in exchange for an honest review. So I will be giving them an honest review <laughs> on my review channel. <sighs> anyway. Well, listen, you guys. I think I'm going to get off here now and end this vlog so that I can go home and start rendering it and get it up. Uploading it so it's ready to go this evening. Tomorrow, or the, the next in the next vlog, I'm going to probably be addressing comments and questions and stuff because I haven't done that in a couple. Not addressing, but like answering, you know, comments or reading comments and questions and stuff. So, if you guys have specific questions that you want to ask or would like me to read a comment of yours, put it in the comment section below, and. Um, I'm going to try to be reading the, well, I will be reading those in the next uh, vlog. So anyway, uh, put those in the comment section below. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Saturday and really enjoying yourselves and relaxing and, you know, don't work too hard this weekend. It's a weekend. You should relax. And I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya. Oh, and for those that need to hear it, one more I love you. That was like a specially good one. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.